How to to walk to a Minecraft monster thing and teach you how to add a RF generator to the game. So, um, this is my generator so far. It's a redstone generator. It looks pretty damn awesome. I, I'm chuffed with the texture. Um, I recommend watching Samosaurus's um, model making to look learn how to do this stuff um that's how i learn and it has gy it's got inventory that works um this this box here is just going to be for data that we might just write out i'm not sure about that yet and this is the rf bar so we're going to make it so this bar fills up at the moment it's full i explain i'll explain to you why that's full at the moment but not right now save that for later so um Let's just exit out of this game. And here we are in the tile entity. But before we get started, I actually want to install some APIs. So we're going to install my API, which. Sorry, had to update it. Uh, going to install my API and uh, the Redstone Flux API from. Uh, team COFH, this is just their um, readme. So you just want to go over to mine, click download zip, and then that'll download that. And you want to go to here. The, both of these links will be in the description, and you also want to click download zip here. So that will download these for us. Okay, so mine's downloaded. So you just want to go into here. You see the source, just control C the source and press control V in where your area is. Cl click yes to merge, and um, there we go. So, just want to copy this source as well and uh, go to here. These probably have it sorted, these guys. And there we go, COFH API. So we now have all this API stuff. So, yes, so the first thing that we want to do here, um, under implement, just add a comma, and you want to just add I energy provider. And that's just going to make us want to add a method onto the end of this, all the way down here. It's actually multiple methods. Uh, get energy stored, uh, just return zero for now, get max energy stored. So we, we're actually going to have to define these up the top. So I'm going to have a private uh, private final int max rf, and that's going to be uh, that much, yeah, and max is just going to return that so it's going to return max rf the energy stored so i'm going to call this current rf so private int current rf and then basically um i'm going to go down to read and write from mbt so i just want to write this to mbt so mbt dot set uh, integer and that is current rf and the value is current rf and then read from mbt i just wanted to do current rf is equal to nbt dot get integer and that's current rf so that will just get our rf and that's just doing that can connect energy to and true uh, current RF minus equals max extract. That's when you're extracting. So that's just going to take the max extract, max extract off it, and it's just going to re return max extract here. And let's just change that to true. So we've got that, but like, I want to make it so that. It's only redstone that you can put in this because it makes sense. It's going to be generating RF, 
which stands for redstone flux. So really, I'm going to use redstone and convert that into redstone flux. You see where I'm going with this? Um, so let's just go into our client. Uh, no, let's actually go into. Let's just go into our container class, and I'm just going to add a new package called dot slot, and I'm going to add a class, and I'm going to call it slot redstone generator, and boom. And this needs to extend slot. Control Shift O to import this. Net inventory dot slot, and you want to add a constructor. And that's just the normal stuff. So we're going to add a method, and all it is 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 item valid. So we're going to check if the item is valid, and I'm going the only way I'm going to check is that. Um, what I'm going to do to check this is I'm going to just return true. It's going to return true if stack dot get item is equal to items dot and then I'm gonna say a redstone boom or stack dot get item is equal to item dot get item from block uh blocks dot redstone block that's just gonna allow it to put redstone and redstone blocks in and in our is item valid um, we want to return and it's going to be slot redstone generator dot so what I'm going to do I'm just going to make a static method um, static version of this because I have to have that one so public static boolean um, is valid item stack stack and in here we're going to just put this and this is going to make us want to take changes to static which is fine and in here I'm just going to return is valid so that will just do the same stuff for us so back in here you want to return slot redstone generator dot is valid and there we go so I'll just check whether it's valid and say true or false if it is or not so um, I'm gonna actually use these fields because um, these these are technically fields the max RF and the current RF so I'm just gonna get at like utilize these methods so I want to do this thing called a switch so switch ID and open it up and just check in what the ID is. So if the ID is zero, I'm gonna return current RF. And it's gonna add this dot to it. And then underneath this, uh we're going to do case one and it's gonna return this dot max RF, the other one. Like so. So the field count we've got two fields now. Now I want to just set it, so I'm going to just switch here and switch ID again, open it up, case, so we can check whether the case is zero, and if it is, then this dot current RF is equal to value. And then we're gonna check whether it the case is one, and then this dot max RF is the value. Like so. And I'm just going to not do that. Because uh, that's always going to be the same. Now, um, a generator is going to generate a certain amount of stuff per tick. So, I just want to add a comma, I tickable. And let the Minecraft.util. And that's going to make us add a new method to this. Right down on the bottom. And now this is our update method. So, we're going to check if this dot world object dot is remote yeah and then we're gonna check whether it's got like redstone in so we're gonna check do if and i'm just gonna check that slot so slot 
uh, redstone generator dot is valid and then I'm just going to do this dot get stack and slot zero so if the item is valid um, I'm just gonna add a cooldown let's just add a cooldown to this so private in cooldown and let's just do the MBT stuff for the cooldown and the fields as well so let's change the field count to three Let's do case two. Return this dot cooldown, and then here I'm going to do case two. This dot cooldown equals value, and then here I'm just going to add um, the thing for the cooldown. So cooldown, cooldown. And it's this dot cooldown and this dot sorry. And it's also this dot current RF. Sorry. Sorry about that. And then I'm just gonna change the uh cooldown. Let's just do this. Cooldown like so. And then get energy stored. This is just going to turn this dot current RF. And then, um, yeah, so we're checking the redstone type. So, cooldown is going to be equal to, um, I think a redstone block should last about 30 seconds. So, if I just load up the calculator, 30 seconds, now there's 20 ticks a second, so 20, that's 600. So, the cooldown is equal to 600. Um, and I'm just going to do uh, else. Just going to set go down to 600 else, and then I think just a normal piece of redstone is that divided by nine, so that's around 67. Yeah, let's just set that cool down. I'm just going to set it to 70 just to be easier, and then um, we're just going to actually add the RF. So, I'm going to increase the RF by 20 redstone. No, it's actually... I'm just going to set increase per tick. So, I'm just going to get int increase per tick. And that's going to be zero for now. And then increase per tick is equal to... Um, no, I'm just going to set increase per tick to 20. So, here I'm just going to change to 20. So, it's going to be a constant 20, but depending on the cooldown. So then, uh, in the update method, uh, hold on, that should just run once. So, at the moment, this is running, like, every time per second. So, we also want to check the cooldown is zero. So, I'm just going to put a an and cooldown this dot cooldown is equal to zero that's two equals and if it's zero that means it's cooled down on it should be smaller than or so i'm just gonna check if it's smaller than or equal to zero and if it is i'm gonna just it should just run this so this would run it on the first time but then cooldown would be more because it's changed it here and I'm just going to, and I'm just going to move this to here. I'm just going to move this to here, and that's just for the slot. So at increase per tick, we should actually have um up the top really. So private static final int increase per tick is 20 so this will do 20 RF per tick I might up this just for testing purposes so we've done that don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial so yeah go check them out